Hey guys, um, just got done making a new camera mount. Happened to find an empty box sitting in there. So, um, pretty much just cut it up so that I don't have to use one that's all the way over there. It's hard to see, but it's right next to the engine. It's a it's a clear plastic box that you've probably seen inside my other videos. Um, just got some some chicken wire so that we can finish up a pair of shelves that we've got outside. But um, this video is about our new our new purchase. of a Tecumseh engine that was on a tiller. So we're gonna unwrap it and find out, you know, what's what's going on. I will do a follow-up video, a diagnosis one later on. Lots of packaging here. Jeez. Here it is. Looks just like it did in the picture. So there you go. It's an H30. Um, so that's, you know, three horsepower horizontal shaft. Completely dry. I don't even see vapors. Or, uh, see the uh, see like a puddle in there. Mm, there's a bit in there. If you guys can see that, should be able to. Now I guess what happened was fired it up and clank. There it was and it just seized right up.
His description was fairly accurate. Doesn't seem like it was one of the bad ones either. That's how you'd stop it, is when it hits that wire. Here's a choke. Ooh, four position choke. Throttle's not stuck. At least we know that's good. Shouldn't have squat in there. And it doesn't. Or does it? Let's see. Oh, there actually is some in there. And it's milky color. That's not good. That's not very great. Uh, so it's possible. It had water in it. You know, a number of things are possible. Can we spin the crank in either direction? And we can't. It's possible it just seized right up. Can't really see the cylinder. You can see the piston. You can see the valves. But, yep. She's locked up tight. Well, sooner or later, we'll do a diagnosis video on this blown Tecumseh engine. got a little bit of play, but that's normal. Shouldn't tip it without this on. But, oh, you guys. That is my new blown Tecumseh engine. Three horsepower horizontal tiller engine. See you guys soon, and um, yeah, bye.